This week on Money Unleashed, we investigate the difference between the SIPC and the FDIC. Investing your hard-earned money is an essential step towards financial freedom. However, it comes with a certain level of risk, including the possibility of losing your investment. That's why it's essential to understand the insurance programs that protect your investments in the event of a financial institution's failure. Two significant insurance programs for investors are SIPC or SIPSI and FDIC. Both provide insurance for investors, the big difference being the types of investments they cover. The Securities Investor Protection Corporation is a nonprofit organization created to protect investors from losses due to the failure of their brokerage firm. This covers investments such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and other securities. The coverage limits for SIPC insurance are $500,000 per customer, including a $250,000 limit for cash. On the other hand, FDIC or Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation is a U.S. government agency that provides insurance for bank deposits, including savings accounts, checking accounts, and certificates of deposits or CDs. FDIC insurance covers up to $250,000 per depositor per FDIC insured bank. This coverage includes principal and interest. It's essential to understand the limitations of these programs and make sure your investments are adequately protected.